What is up my fellow mobile gamers? In today's video we have a beginner's guide to a brand new mobile game that just came out. It is called Illusion Connect and this game is freaking amazing. I've been having so much fun with it. But let's jump into this video and go over some beginner tips. Uh, but just to mention, I will be making a ton more videos on this game. So right now, if you want to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss my more in-depth videos moving forward. So here we go. You just started this game. You're brand new. Now for the banners, we have the Confused Heart. We have this one. We have this Noble Knight one. We have the Radiant Summon. There is another one. There is a fourth one, and it is special just for beginners. Now, you can actually not even just do the beginner one. You can actually choose one of these other ones to spend your first 10 tickets on. But I highly suggest you do what the game kind of shows you to do, and that is use the beginner's banner because for 10 pulls, you get a guaranteed SSR, whereas these other banners, you only get a guaranteed SR for 10 pull. Next thing you want to do is what do you spend your diamonds on? All right, so we have our diamonds in the top right corner. The game is pretty generous with diamonds, right? I got 2000 and that was after I already did uh, another 10 pull summon. So I've used quite a few diamonds. There's two main ways to spend your diamonds. You can either use them on summons right here and, it, you know, it costs 18 180 or the other way is at the top corner right next to the diamonds you'll see like this piece of bread <laughs> the piece of bread is your energy so you can spend it on summons or energy and of course though with the energy thing you can only do it five times a day it'll be 80 gems to get 120 so far i haven't had any issues with energy and i'm pretty deep in the game i am right now i am on uh story four and I haven't even had to, you know, use any of my diamonds for energy. So if you want, I would suggest, you know, do it for the summoning. Or if you want, you know, maybe save 80 of them just in case you need that extra energy. But so far, I I've been fine with energy. I haven't had a problem at all. Next thing you're going to want to do is, which is super important, right here it says Dream. This is pretty much the campaign of the game, the story what you need to do in order to unlock more features now if you're just starting out and you're brand new a lot of these features you see right now on screen they might not be showing up for you and that is because i am further along in the dream area aka campaign than you are and as you progress further new features will unlock that is why it is so important the first thing you want to do is just get as far as you can through the campaign like uh guilds right now as you can see guilds are locked for me i need to clear dream 59 in order to unlock it show you my account level the top left corner you'll see pistol p229 that is me you'll see account level 13 and you'll see my overall combat power we click on this uh 13 your account level is very very important why because your account level matters with your overall energy and your lineup now if we go into our lineup it'll say total energy 84 80 out of 84 so you're kind of like okay well what does this mean you can only take in a certain amount of characters depending on their energy right so if you look at the top right corner where it says 16 uh right here this one says 14 and you know if you just kind of look at the different characters it says 15 they have different numbers there that is their energy cost so the game does a very good job of balancing this out you can't just throw in a, a thousand ssrs early on if you're a low level because your total energy will not be high enough right now mine's at 84 so i can kind of get away with certain characters but as you can see, if I take away this R right here, like if I uh, if I click him out and I try and put like this other SSR in, I'm over my energy. See, total energy is now 86 out of 84, so I cannot take this team. It, I just it just won't let me. So we have to take that out, and we have to find somebody else who has a lower energy. So the game really makes you balance it out, which is very important. So keep that in mind. Just because, you know, you have a bunch of SSRs or SRs, you know, you can't just throw them all in there. You have to be mindful of the total energy, right? Some of these Rs are pretty decent. And again, I'm going to do a future video where we'll do some campaign runs, aka dream runs, where we'll just use our R characters, you know, because I haven't spent any money in this game. I just got super lucky. But that's one thing you just got to understand is as your account increases, your total energy, and then you'll be able to take 
take in more characters with higher energy. Okay, so if we look at our character right here, there's a bunch of different information. We have our combat passive, they have our skills, then we have detail, skins, voice, stories, display. There actually are cool skins in this game, right? So if you go through and you look, there are some that you do have to purchase, but again, there are some that you don't. You can get through events, which are pretty cool. One thing that's very, very important, uh, early on, you'll see this thing called stories. As you unlock new characters, you can review their story and it'll give you, you know, a little bit of information about them. And then you'll click the little treasure chest and you will get free diamonds. Depending on the rarity of the character, you will get more diamonds for an SSR, 150 diamonds for an SSR. You will get, you will get 60 diamonds for an R and you will get 100 for an SR, right? So another way, if you want to just do it an easier way, you can just go to the, uh, it's in under the album section and it'll just show you the different characters that you have unlocked and the ones that you need to unlock, right? So the first time you just go and you can just read their information and you get free diamonds. That's one thing that I, I kind of favor spending your diamonds on the summons over the energy just because you, if you, as you unlock the characters, you kind of get back the diamonds that you spent you know, to do the summons if you think about it. So I kind of I, I kind of personally suggest to use the use your diamonds on the summons. So aside from reading their story, you also have this thing called the intimacy level and I'm kind of in the way of it. I'm gonna move myself over here. It says intimacy, intimacy level one. Now there are some little things, some little gifts that you can acquire in the game and you can give them to your wafus, your girls, right? This is the number one thing. You take care of your girls and they take care of you. So you could go over here and you click the little gift button and here are our gifts. You can give your girl one of these little gifts and it will increase the intimacy level. And this is important because as you increase the it intimacy level, you can unlock extra buffs for them. So you wanna give them certain types of gifts. So if you see the double heart right here in the corner, that means it is an item that they really, really like, right? So it says upgrade 20, that's just the base one. Then plus 10, is because it's one of their favorite items. Now, if you go down and scroll a little bit further, you'll see just a regular heart. That just means they don't hate it or dislike it. And then all the way at the bottom, you'll see like a little broken heart. The broken heart indicates that they do not like it. So if you give them the broken heart, it'll actually be a negative. So you don't wanna do that. So you just wanna give them the items that they like. Uh, the other thing that's very, very important is the Musipio, <laughs> I can't say this. Musipula. I don't know why they called it Musipula, and I couldn't just call it your house. This is this is basically your house, right? So this is your house, the idling uh, part of the game. And by that, I mean you'll be collecting resources over time by building things in your house. So we'll go over to our house and we'll click build. And Tree of Eternity, this is like our main uh, control center, if you want to say that. We have frame of light, so we had to build these little frames of light, and they give us XP. We have our double bed. This will increase the amount of cards or the amount of partners we can bring into battle. We have our dessert cart, which lets us get more gold. And then we have our books, which increases our energy. The game kind of walks you through it and it makes you build these things. Just build them and level them up as high as you can until you can't level them up anymore. As you can see, like I have my books right here. I have everything maxed out for right now. Uh, this is my gold little dessert carriages. You collect your gold from there. And then right here in the treasure chest, if you don't want to actually go in to collect your resources, you could just hit the treasure chest and it'll tell you like some more information about your idling reward. It says 2100 an hour for our gold, 2100 an hour for our XP. And right now it's telling you how much time has passed. So right now 35 36 and it'll just keep going up you can just hit claim and do it that way if you don't want to actually go into the musipula we just unlocked the pool area right here so we got some new buildings we have a single deck chair what is a single deck single deck chair gives us crystal output so we'll click this we'll build it and you could just move this around too like everything in here is is you know edited edible you know you can move whatever you want around we can move the chairs around anywhere we want and let's see, we could build another one. We want to get lots of crystals. We want to get all our stuff, you know, set up so that when we are sleeping or we're at work or we're not playing the game, we'll still collect the resources, which is super important. 
right? So you want to have all this stuff leveled up. I'll level this one up. And another thing that you can also use your diamonds on is the redeem resources. While you're in your house, we can click redeem resources and we can just instantly speed this up. So it says gold redemption. Instantly get six hours worth of gold. So we could just spend 50 diamonds right now and it'll give us 27,600 gold. We could do it with the crystals too. And we could also do it with the redeem XP. Again, though, I need to clear this certain level before I can do that. Again, this is just another suggestion if you want to use your diamonds. Now, another bonus tip that I haven't seen anyone mention is when you're in your lineup, you have this thing called a leader skill. Now, your leader is your character who's going to sit in the back and whether you win or lose determines whether he stays alive. Your leader needs to stay alive in order for you to complete it. If he dies, you're done. You lose. So you need to have the partners protect your leader. But there's something really, really cool that people haven't mentioned. There is a thing called leader skill right here, right? So if I click leader skill, I click on one of these. There's a bunch of these different like special skills, right? And these are just activated based on the characters that you take in. So the partners, right? So if we look at this one, it says... In order to activate this energy balance, it says the number of partners of each kind of energy must not exceed two. And then activation effect after allied partners show up, increase damage rate by 15% for two rounds. So again, this is super important because if you're struggling with a level, it might be because you just don't have a, the right combination of characters. You could switch up your characters and get one of these leader skills active and you might blow the level completely out of the water, right? So if you were struggling before, check the leader skills, see what combination of characters you can put in to achieve that skill. And I mean, it can make a huge difference. I mean, some of these are really, really strong. Like um, at least two of the following partners must be in battle. So again, certain ones are about specific characters. If y'all enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I'll see y'all for a more in-depth video soon. Peace.